Scorpio, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Hope that you guys are really, really well. Okay, whew, yeah, I don't think I'm too late. As you know, guys, I didn't long, I mean, I moved in, uh, when did I move in here? About the 7th, 8th. Got my keys around and a bit early, but it's just been, you know, when you're moving, I've got what it was like to move. Because I've been living with family for the past sort of two years. And uh, when I moved, I didn't realise just how much effort would go into moving stuff. So I was just kind of, oh man. But anyway, everything's moved. All my furniture's in the lot. Um, so yeah, I am now ready and raring to really get Carol's Universe going. I've got my own space now and things like that. If you'd like a private reading with me, guys, you can go to my website. It's all the details are down below, www.carolsuniverse.co.uk. And Scorpio, what we're going to do now, we're going to shuffle the cards and find out what's coming in for you guys in the month of May 2016. Universe Spirit, show me Scorpio. Sun, Moon and Rising signs. What's coming in for the Zodiac sign of Scorpio for May 2016? Show me their general energies from the two top cards. The bottom card to show me the advice that you have for Scorpio in the, in the month of May 2016. And the eight cards in the middle to serve as the general advice, people, situations that could be coming in for Scorpio. Show me Scorpio, 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 May 2016. Show me Scorpio, 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 Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Show me the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Those born into the zodiac sign of Scorpio. All Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Show me what's coming in for Scorpio. Sun, Moon and Rising signs for May 2016. Show me what's coming in for Scorpio. Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for May 2016. What's coming in for Scorpio? Sun, Moon and Rising signs for May 2016. Show me what's coming in for Scorpio. Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Scorpio, 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 Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Show me what's coming in for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for May 2016. Show me the two top cards as the general energy. The bottom card is the advice card and the eight cards in the middle that will serve as the events, people, situations for Scorpio. Show me what's coming in for Scorpio, all those born into Scorpio, sun, moon and rising signs. Show me. Okay, so I've chuckled the cards as much as I can Scorpio, I'm going to split the deck into three. Gather it back up, and I'm going to put two cards at the top, serves your general uh, energy for the month. One from the bottom, which will be the advice card, and eight in the middle. Now what I'm doing is I'm just turning over the general energy and the advice first, and then we're going to do the other cards two at a time to see how we can, how that fits in with the general energy. I find it's a little bit more exciting that way to do it like that. Let's have a look for you guys then. And also, if I need clarifying cards, what I do now is pull extra cards just to see if we can get any added flavour to the reading. I will also, as I uh, mentioned to the other signs, be starting up love readings on a monthly basis as well because I think they're fascinating and there are millions and zillions and trillions of people in the world that will come and see. I mean, millions don't watch my videos, but you know, there are thousands of people that will come and watch and more that will come and watch as well. So the love readings can apply to just a great scope of people. Let's have a look for you. Okay. Mm, interesting. It makes sense in a way, your general energy, Scorpio. And we're not turning over the eight cards just yet. We're going to see how they fall into place with these. But so far, your general energy and the... Uh, advice card kind of fit in together um, and it's interesting because as you know I'm an intuitive reader I love the tarot so much I'm learning about it every day I do a lot of reading now if I can I don't really have the time to do loads and loads of readings but you'll find with a lot of tarot readers we know what the general meanings of every card is and then you just build up your own stuff on the readings because it's your intuition that's at play and it has to be that if you were to read every card in terms of what its general meaning is in a reading it would make no sense so cards always change meanings pertaining to what your card is before it 
in front of it, behind it, that's how it works in order to, you know, the tower really is just deciphering a code. Really interesting tool, so, so interesting. Right, so your general energy is the lovers. We've got three major arcana, so this is massive, I feel, for the month of May and the moon. For some of you guys, it's going to be a very, very intense relationship that's going to be, I feel, governing you in the month of May. The lovers uh, is a card that's twofold. You get this in a reading as an influence coming in or in the immediate future. It's a love reading. It can mean that a really strong, intense attraction is about to enter into your life. And this is a future card, obviously, for May 2016. So it could be with the moon that there is something very deep and the moon can be representative of Scorpio. Okay, it can. The moon, the tower, death, they're all cards that can be representative of somebody who is a Scorpio. Could be a relationship that, I, but I feel there's a choice for some of you guys if it is a relationship. It doesn't have to be a relationship reading, of course. It can be pertaining to anything. The lovers is based in intense relationships between people it can be love readings it, it sorry it can be love situations it can be family it can just be really strong connections with others okay it is also a soulmate card so with this card you could have lived many past lives with someone a real past strong love connection with someone you get the lovers card cards like the lovers temperance two of cups all of those cards justice the devil even, they're all cards about soulmate relationships that go way, way back. Soul contracts, karma that needs to be resolved. For some of you guys, it might be karma that needs to be resolved, potentially, from some sort of past life connection. But the moon card is often about something that is buried so deep that it needs clarification. And those dogs that are barking at the moon are asking for clarification. They're asking for something to become clear to them because they feel kind of, uh, you know, when, when you get the moon card, it can be representative of depression. It can be representative of uh, something that's quite foggy, something that's just unclear and you're needing guidance. But it's also a card of intuition. And so is the lovers in a roundabout way because the lovers card is all about making a choice. But I feel for some of you Scorpio, some moon rising signs, something is blurred for you in the month of uh May 2016 there is for me a choice that you're going to need to make with the lovers card but I feel that it's difficult for you to, to do that with the moon card because something has not been decided yet okay and I feel that it might be leaving you feeling a little bit uncomfortable as it were because your advice card is the hand man or the overall theme is the hand man the hand man is interesting because it's a card about either letting go and let God or that some adjustments need to be made. Now, for some of you guys, it might be that you're going to need to make some adjustments. Maybe with that lover's card, there is a major, major choice that you're going to have to make in the month of May 2016. And it's leaving you feeling kind of maybe depressed or uncomfortable with the moon card. Okay? It could be about a very intense secret, maybe even, relationship. Because the moon can also be about secrets. Same as the high priestess. Something that's secret, something that's buried, something that's difficult to kind of face up to or to open up about to someone. And with the hand man, it says that things are in the air. When you get that card, often it means, if you get that in a present situation. So, for example, somebody came to me and they said, how does John feel about me? And you get the hand man coming out. It might mean that his feelings are up in the air. He's not decided yet because he doesn't know which way to go. There's a limitation there. So for some of you guys, there might be a big choice that you need to make, but there is a major limitation. There's a major crossroads you might have come to. It could be that you need to make some adjustments in the month of May, and it might be an uncomfortable thing that you need to do. Let's have a look at the first two cards. We have the Queen of Pentacles here showing up. And we've also got the Two of Wands. Now, the pentacles and the wands differ in terms of their uh, ethos, okay? Because pentacles, as I've been saying uh, virtually on all my readings, it's important to know exactly what, uh, how the cards serve you on a daily basis. Especially when they're pit cards as well, because there's more pit cards than there are major arcanas. Pit cards are to do with everyday life. 
major arcanas are major things that happen and they can have an effect on your your life for years and years to come major major cards like the tower that's to me that's the biggest major arcana card within the tower because it just has a major effect pick cards that can have a major effect are things like the, the three of swords it's always the painful cards that make you have to face it to your ship that have the most effect i find but the pentacles differ from the two of wands or from the wands because the pentacles uh you you get a process within the tarot so i'm not trying to make this like a tutelage or anything like that okay but you start off with wands that's why you'll find when you read books on the tarot they'll always start off with wands then cups then swords then pentacles because it's a process so your wands are kind of like your desires your uh ideas uh they're also action that you might want to take on anything but it's more like the fiery feeling that you get for something and how you want to sort of move forward with it they're really a process the ones are so it's it's nothing that's completely realized as yet but it's kind of the uh the idea or the the set of beliefs that you might have in order to kind of move that thing forward your pentacles then you've got your cups so the idea starts off with the idea so my idea is to set a business up what's the feeling i get from that cups the emotion is i feel really good I feel really excited. I feel really, yeah, this is really what I want to do. So, for example, I suppose Ace of Wands. Light bulb moment. Suddenly the idea comes to me, just like that. Yeah, I want to set up my business. Three of Cups shows up. I feel really good, really happy about it. I've got to tell my friends, I've got to tell my family. Then you get the Swords taking the action knight of swords for example i'm going to move swiftly on with this i've thought about it now i'm going to be courageous enough to make it happen and then for example i might have something like the ten of pentacles wow from my actions i've amassed this wealth or i've amassed such material success do you understand so it's all a process we have the queen of pentacles showing first the queen of pentacles to me uh Whenever I look at her now, she just reminds me of a woman that looks at what she has. She is, as I always say, the woman with the to-do list. She ticks off the various things that she needs to do on an everyday basis. She's very detailed. She's very, very structured. She's like the Queen of Wands, but she's the Queen of Wands would be more, uh, you know, the um, doing everything at the same time. So a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. But with the Queen of Pentacles, she will dedicate time to each task each task sorry singularly until she get once she does one thing she marks it off then she does another she marks it off so everything is a process i see this as a process card i feel that for some of you scorpio sun moon and rising signs you're going to be looking at what you have okay and you're going to be kind of making lists on what it is that you need to do okay so there's something that you're looking at in the month of may that needs careful attention because to me the queen of pentacles represents careful attention she's the card just before the king of pentacles king of pentacles represents success when you get kings in a reading kings are the culmination cards okay so they are the completion cards they are the epitome of the situation so they are the result cards okay to me the queens represent the almost like the process before you get to the culmination to, before you get to the actual realization of something with the kings so to me the queen of pentacles is a process that for some of you scorpios you're going through and i feel that you're looking at what you have in very much detail we also have the two of wands so with the twos sometimes this can mean that you're needing to create some form of balance and usually when you need to create a form of balance you need to work out which direction you're going to go in in order to create that the two of wands can often be a card about searching for something but it's also a card about going out into the world and applying whatever it is this guy has the world in his hands so he's lucky he has what he needs he has the tool he needs he just needs to go out there and realize it so i feel there's something about looking at what you have and looking at the way that you can apply it okay because remember the uh, ones are the ideas so practically looking at, okay, what do I have and how can I apply it with that two of wands? 
So perhaps with the Lovers card and the Moon, there is something for some of you guys that you are doing at the moment, maybe, that needs careful attention because you need to make a choice on how you're actually going to move forward with a certain thing in your life. And it might be proving difficult because we do have that hanged man. And also, with the Queen of Pentacles, and to me with that Two of Wands, it's not only looking at what you have and how you're going to apply it, it's literally, if you look at both cards, one is quite stationary. Now, when you get Pentacles, remember, this is the culmination. Okay, so this is why they are seen as passive cards, because, along with the Cups, because they're passive energy. So the pentacles would be the culmination of what it is that you have been working towards. It is the fruit of the labour. And it's funny how we have the first card showing as the fruit of your labours. So there's something that you've culminated here, Scorpio, within the month of May 2016. Whatever it is that you've culminated, I feel that you have an idea of how you want to dispense that. Or how you want to work with it. So we don't have the idea and then the fruit. We have the fruit. You already have something here of worth. You just don't know how to dispense it or how to go about putting it out there. So that pentacle could simply be maybe money. Maybe you're looking at it some form of investment. Maybe it's your home. Pentacles can often represent home. And remember the queen of pentacles, she's not only a worker... A successful businesswoman she's also a homemaker but so for, for some of you guys it might be literally something materialistic it could be your home it could be your money it could be something that you've got in the bank and you need to find a way to dispense that or to put it out there or maybe to pay pay it forward or pay it back or whatever it is into society it doesn't necessarily mean that though. there's just something that you have that you don't know what to do with it or how to kind of put it out there and this is why I feel that a major, for some reason, a major choice needs to be made with this in the month of, in the month of May, uh, Scorpio. And you do seem, it might be something that you're really passionate about because the lovers is also about something that is very passionate to you. And so is the moon, something that you feel so intense about. So it's, I feel for some of you guys, if this... You know, it is to do with choice, but I feel that it's a very tender situation. And I feel it's something that you really need to be very careful with and almost treat with kid gloves because you could make a mistake if you don't do it right. And that's maybe why with the hanged man you're holding on or you're holding fire or you're recognising with the advice card that you're going to need to make some major, major adjustments in order to do this thing. Let's have a look at the other two cards. Oh, that's interesting. <gasps> Whoa, we got some massive energies showing here, Scorpio. We have the tower and we've got death together. That is incredible. Just incredible. You have some major energies for my Scorpio and it's giving me chills. So there is a major change that's coming in and it's going to lead to something quite permanent because when you get the tower, the tower and death are two different cards in terms of their outcomes because the tower seeks to break something down that you can rebuild. The death card seeks to end something so that there is a new cycle that's being brought in. Both cards really are saying the same kind of thing. But the tower is far more of a jolting, jarring energy than the death card is. That's huge. That's bloody huge. No wonder you have a major choice because there's a major adjustment that you're going to need to make in your life, Scorpio, for the month of uh, May 2016. And it's huge. I think it's huge. Really, really huge. To me, it says that you need to come out of a certain comfort zone in the month of May 2016 because that's what the tower does and maybe this is why you're so um, fearful I feel of it with the moon card I feel this is why there is such an intense feeling of fear and anxiety around this major choice that you need to make with the lovers and I feel this is why you know before I turned over those two cards I did say to you guys it's like something you need to treat with kid gloves because it just felt like that energy to me because the way the Queen of Pentacles is literally looking at her worth, what she has. 
and she has to apply it to a set of beliefs and those beliefs might have to change because the two of wands is saying she has a choice of what direction she needs to take whatever it is that she has in that hand of hers whatever it is that represents a pentacle for you Scorpio you have to decide how are you going to apply it in your life and it's going to bring in some major major changes once you apply it it means that this energy of the Queen of Pentacles, where she's in a very comfortable setting, it means with how you apply that idea with that Two of Wands, brings down whatever it is that you have built up in terms of your safety net, and it brings in some major change. Which is why I now feel that the handman says that there is advice, there's a major adjustment that's coming into your life, and you're going to have to roll with the punches. And I'm not saying that you have to roll with the punches, but you're going to have to roll with looking at things in a different way, no matter how uncomfortable that might be for you in the month of uh, May 2016. Let's have a look at the next two cards. There's an offer coming in. There is an offer coming in. We've got Page of Cups showing here. This can be representative of you, Scorpio, as well. So it could be taking some ideas out into the world. It could also be that you're getting a very good message. You know, I just get the feeling, Scorpio, that whatever this thing is, that maybe for some of you guys, you might be fearing, a ma and there is a major change, there's no doubt. There's got to be. How many major arcanas do we already have in this reading? One, two, three, four, five, six. The major arcanas outweigh your minors in this reading, Scorpio. You've got 11 cards in this reading, and there's six major arcanas. There are huge changes coming in for May. Huge. What the hell? What the hell? I feel that if you want to go for something that... Uh, it's going to rebuild you or build something up new. You're going to have to make sacrifices. And also the hand man means a card about being a sacrificial lamb. It's not just about making adjustments. Because this hand man, he hangs in a very uncomfortable position. He's upside down. He has to sacrifice his own comfort in order to realise and learn new things about his own endurance, his own strength. So I feel that there is a test coming in for some of you guys. I've got to be honest, in the month of May 2016, I feel there's a real test. The Emperor card shows up as well. This is the card about taking action. I feel that you're being urged to take some resolute action on something here. Could be an offer, maybe it's from an establishment. The Emperor usually represents some form of an establishment, maybe. Maybe with the Queen of Pentacles, because she could be seen as somebody that works on her own as well. So maybe for some of you guys, it might be that you are self-employed and you go out there into the world again. And maybe this is where the major change is and you're going to need to sacrifice what it is that you do. For some of you guys, it will be trying to build an idea because the Page of Cups can either often be the card where it's an ideas card. This is a, the type of boy that would work behind the scenes on something. He's the ideas person. He's the poet. He's the writer. He's filled with excitement and the joys of life. But you need to be serious about it because it looks like you're trying to build something here. Whether that's coming out of the comfort zone of what you've already created up in terms of maybe working from home for yourselves or, you know, running your own business as it were. You're going to have to, you're doing something different. I feel you're doing something different in May. And I feel it's going to be uncomfortable, but you're going to need to sacrifice something. And I feel the hand money is saying major adjustments for the month of May and sacrifices. And it leads to some permanent change for a while because we've got that tower and the death card together. Let's have a look at your final cards. There we go. Knight of Pentacles. This can be a travel card, but it's also a coffer, um, an, an action that one takes as well. I usually see knights as actions, okay? But it's making slow progress. It's almost, a, it's almost like it's saying that there is slow progress towards security. The eight of the four of uh, pentacles. These are two kind of non-moving energies, though, in a way. But I would read them as slow progress towards security. Together. Because the knight of pentacles makes progress but it's slow and the four of pentacles is often a card about security 
So for some of you guys, you might be having some sort of financial issues going on here. Okay, and there might be some major developments or major changes that are coming in that are going to give you major changes, and there are major changes happening here for sure. You've got more major arcanas than you do minors, and when you have that, it means that there's a massive, massive change, massive energies for May coming in for you, Scorpio. I feel that you might fear it. There might be some trepidation around it. You might even sense it because the moon is a highly intuitive card. But the adjustment is for the best for you. It's to put you on the best course that you can possibly go on. You are with that Queen of Pentacles looking at what you have in the month of May. You are assessing your own value, assessing your own assets. And you're looking at how you can apply new ideas around this in the outside world. The Tower says that whatever it is that's not working as such, and it's obvious I feel that something may not be working with that Queen of Pentacles showing there. Because we've got the tower. Something that's not working, it needs to be blown apart in order for you to rebuild it. So what it does is, it brings in major transformations with the death card. We have an offer coming in, or a message with the Page of Cups. Could be from an establishment with that Emperor card. Or it could simply be you trying to build up new ideas. There is progress with the Knight of Pentacles towards some real financial security for you guys in the month of May. But you have to make a sacrifice somewhere along the line, it seems, because we have the handman, which says to me now, having the looking at the, at the whole spread, that there are major, major adjustments and sacrifices that some of you guys are going to need to make within the month of May 2016. I'm going to get some clarification cards here, just to see if we can open up the reading a little bit. Why do we have the Page of Cups and the Emperor? Why do we have the Page of Cups and the Emperor? Why do we have the Page of Cups and the Emperor? Why do we have the Page of Cups and the Emperor? What do you mean by the Page of Cups and the Emperor? Give us something clearer, please. There we go, yep. There's a meeting taking place for you guys. There's an offer coming in and a meeting taking place with that Three of Pentacles. It could be a meeting that's taking place where you're showing what you can do. Or it could be you showing what you can do. So you're going out there, you're making an offer to someone or somebody's making an offer to you. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles? Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles? Explain it a little bit more, please. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles? Explain it a little bit more, please. Thank you. The Eight of Cups. You are walking towards something else. You are, as I thought so. Knight of Pentacles, slow progress, but it's progress towards some form of security. And what do we do when we're progressing towards something? We're walking towards it. So you might be walking away from something that's not quite serving you at the moment, Scorpio, and you're walking towards something new. The Tower and Death. Explain those two cards a bit more to us, please. Explain what you mean by the Tower and Death, please. What do you mean by those two cards for Scorpio? For May 2016, show me. What do you mean? What do you mean by the Tower and Death? Explain it a little bit more in one card. Show me. The Page of Pentacles. There is definitely a new opportunity that's coming in for you. And it's good. It will serve you very, very well. And what do you mean by the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of uh, Wands? Show me a bit more, please. What do you mean by Queen of Pentacles and Two of Wands? Show me Queen of Pentacles and Two of Wands. Give us a bit more understanding, please. What do you mean by Queen of Pentacles and Two of Wands? Show me. Yeah, six of Swords. There's a lot of thinking here. A lot of thinking going on. You can see it with the Queen of Pentacles. You're assessing what you have. And there are ideas here with this Two of Wands in what direction to take. So there are some troublesome thoughts going on with you there. And you need to suppress that Scorpio. Okay. Let's go through the reading one more time. Let's just get one more clarification card. What do you mean by the lovers in the moon? Just give me one card to show me. Show the Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising signs a bit more about this lovers in the moon. Just to get some clearer understanding, please, for the viewers. Just show me in one card. Yeah. Five of Wands. There is some uh, jarring energy going on with you guys. Okay. There is, there is some jarring energy. Let's go through the reading again. Just from the top. We've got the lovers and the moon showing as your general energy. 
there is a major choice I feel that you're going to need to make and you might be feeling slightly frustrated or fearful with that moon card as well around this okay so things might not be clear you might be feeling an internal obstacle going on there Scorpio for May and that's because there's a major sacrifice as the advice card or adjustments that you're going to need to make with the handman we've got the Queen of Pentacles showing with that two of swords okay Queen of Pentacles is where you're looking at your own what's out worth your own value what you have your money your assets your home everything you're making plans there's a process going on you might be ticking of things that you need to do there's lots of details going on two of wands is your ideas okay how do you apply your ideas to the outside world and start building them up well we have the six of swords here okay you're trying to create something of calmness around you some clarity but there's a lack of clarity going on here with those two cards i feel okay so there's a major choice coming in there is conflicted energy going on between that lover's card i feel and the moon with the five of wands there is an idea that you're going to need to kind of uh, work through with that Queen of Pentacles. You have something there, but how do you apply it? And you need to work through it with it with that uh, Six of Swords. There could be some travel involved there as well. We do have the Page of uh, Cups showing with that Emperor card. I feel that there are new meetings coming in. This is either where you're showing what you can do or somebody wants to see what you can do. It's either where you're getting a message coming in from an establishment or you're going out there. The tower and the death card together, we saw something is breaking down, but it's only to rebuild you better. And it leads to some big changes with the death card. And we see this now is the page of pentacles. There's a new offer coming in for you guys. Okay, there is an offer happening here. That knight of pentacles, progress. Might be slow moving, but you are working towards security. And in order to find security, you need to leave whatever it is that's not working in your life, Scorpio. And move forward towards something that is very interesting reading Scorpio let me know how you got on okay let me know if any of this pertains to you but it's a lovely reading it's interesting it's really good there's new opportunities all over the place but I feel your fear holds you back okay if something isn't working sometimes you have to make a sacrifice in order to get it to work okay so look at what you have, and if you're beating your head against a brick wall, don't be afraid to make those changes. Even if it's for a small amount of time. It doesn't mean that you've failed. It doesn't mean that you've done things wrong. It just means that the universe wants you to go around something in a different way. Okay? Whatever this is, you're still successful. But it just means that something, something needs some revision here. Could be work, could be love, could be anything, but there's definitely there's some needs something needs revision in the month of May, okay? And there might be some adjustments and sacrifices you're gonna have to make in order to do that. That's your reading Scorpio for the month of May 2016. I would like to say thank you so much for joining me on Carol's Universe, and I will speak to you guys really soon. Take care.